Yeah. Do they do the victory dance? I said, does anyone ever come out about this? And the person said, yeah, sometimes. Yeah, well, this woman has been there for two weeks, twice. Wow. You know, she's going to, oh, that's something to Are we interrupting them? No, just waving to the home audience. Oh, oh okay. Or wherever they are. Oh, it's nice of you to stop by before the first one. It's great to see you, Joe. So what happened with Nice to see you too, Howard. So the, the hospice person, anyhow, walked She's coming in. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got a huge celebrity here tonight. Sitting at the piano talking to Mary Lee Kimberly. Yeah. I took her husband. It's Joe Galvin, ladies and gentlemen. The big car collector. It looks like we got a dead cam. Get in the car. That's weird. I took him to a car show. What's the deal here? He was so happy. Was just what he needed. You okay, know, yes. like, that's the yeah. camera. You could be well scarred. And then yeah. finally, you do something that yes. you relax and do. Yes. So. I know exactly. Yeah. So then I call this one's working. This oh, this one. Thing. What's the deal? This, this, this one. Oh, good. Good. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, oh, it's nice that he said that. But it was nice. Yeah, no, that's a great thing you do, and it's nice you're so caring for these people who are at these points in their lives. Right. Yeah. Are you on yet? Yeah, I'm just working out some uh, broken kinks. stuff. Kinks. I've been hearing about the Albright radio too. The AKG. I think very soon I you may can have get on. Somebody June. sent me a link. Yeah, where you can you need tickets to go to the reopening. Oh, really? But you but they're free. So we're gonna you have to get online to get them and I don't know what the situation is. Well, I sort of thought, them, well, well wait until they're open and then I'll go on a free day. I think they well, do. We can, oh, yeah. we can buy a subscription for the year and get tickets too, can't we? Okay. I think so. It's got to be. Now all the cameras are working. It needs yeah. to be a memorable moment to be there again. Turn down. I hope it looks nice. Yeah, I mean, can I don't imagine know. Can you imagine the deal here? I like talking to the home cadets before I start launching that into my big act here yeah. with my PA system. You wouldn't do it because you remember it? No. How's the uh, audio out there? It looks like we're... Yes. Yeah. Just a moment. Time. Okay, you can hear me better now. And uh, still kind of still, still kind of weak. Um, I'm having this issue. On the day that they... I'll stand outside of no, okay, I'll get on line. Okay, how's this? I'm trying to get near negative 12. Near negative 12 dB. How's this? How's this? Oh, yeah. Okay, um, this is probably pretty close. I'll test the other mic. Yeah, they weigh in on Facebook. I never see it. I always think they're going to the people on here. Okay, one more thing to do here is the regular. Joe, where are you going? You double parked with your classic car? He's double parked one of his classic cars. Which one did you bring? 55 Chrysler New York. Oh, oh sweet. Is it out there in the loop? No, it's across the street from oh. the loop. Is what a car. Oh. 55 Chrysler New York. He double, double parked. parked it. I double parked for you, Howard. You should have just pulled up and Patrick's our guy. The Patrick? LA. Yeah. Oh, I know. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Patrick, I'm with Howard. <laughs> yeah, just, he's a good guy. He knows. I've done that before, but you weren't here. I came well, in. Sure. Like and they probably never heard like, of me. Yeah, yeah where's, where's, Howard? Construction. where's Howard? Yeah, where is he? You're looking around. You hear, I hear a piano, but where's Howard? <laughs> yeah. How many cars do you have? I have nine now. Oh man, you're During a fanatic. COVID, That's I, have 16. I think we got, I think oh, we yeah, got more yeah, than you now. What's that? I think we've got more than you now. How many do you have, Howard? I'm not sure. It's around ten. I think we might have ten. I'm around ten too. I'm nine. Nine. No, but I don't think we're below ten. I don't think we. I don't. I, I'd have to add them up, and I just don't have right, time you're, to. You're the winner. To open up a. <laughs> I'll let you know afterwards. I'll, I'll get a spreadsheet going. Can you going. take a picture of me and Mary? I, of course we can. Right. You're on five cameras right now? <laughs> Look at this thing. Joe's putting the hat on. What is this thing? It's got some it's kind of... It's an iPhone. It's an iPhone. Sure. It's got nine cars and an iPhone. It's a huge phone. <laughs> Very nice. 
How many cameras are we on? Oh, five. Five? Plus yours. That's six. That's six. Together Eight we've hours. got 19 cars. I got to run, but I'll be back again. Tell, nice tell, tell yeah, Patrick nice to, to you check job. out your... What's that? Tell Patrick to check out your, your Chrysler. Okay. All right, I'll look for <laughs> yeah. Patrick. Yeah. Okay. He'll lay some rubber with it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. Now is the part where we're looking for the stream so I can set the uh, special feature chat because you guys love it. Your name gets real big. I don't see us. I don't see us actually. Are we? Are we? Here we are. We are on the air, I can see it. And uh, now, Mary, I just have to get this uh, this feature going. There we go. Let's turn this down so it'll cooperate. Okay. Now we need a <clears throat> we need a message, Phil Graham. We need a message. Maybe I can leave one. Come on. There it is. Yay! Okay. All right. Whee! That song up for Pam Zep Moore. I'm wearing the Pamela Zep Moore curls too. And Phil Graham. And Amy Lillibet. Ooh, thanks for the tag. Exciting that um, Joe Galvin came in. Yeah, yeah, he's really nice. Okay, I'm gonna start turning my joke mic up, even though none of the cadets are here. We're gonna have to go right, right to the real <laughs> retail audience. <laughs> There might be something special going on tonight that, that's supposed to be a surprise or a secret because there's an unusual amount of security day detail here, ladies and gentlemen. That's usually a tip-off. I know, I know when things are a little, a little off. There's some, there's some fancy uniforms up at the bar, Mary, with badges. What's the deal with this guy? This is like the, the Secret Service. They're in their dress blues. I would have dressed up more if I knew that. I would have worn my dress blues. See, I knew something was going on. I bet the mayor's gonna be here or something. He was at our last gig. Uh, yeah, we're getting to be a habit with him. Getting to be a habit with Byron. <laughs> Amy, how's the sound out there? distortion or anything? Is it loud enough? It's not just too loud, right? The 
This is our pre-Mother's Day party. On Mother's Day, we're, we're going to be playing the Statler. Thank you, Amy. Appreciate that. Believe it or not, it's really hard to get a straight answer from people when I ask them what the sound is like. I, they usually like come back with a joke or something, you know, and then I find out the whole night that the sound sucked. But not with Amy. She gives me the straight dope. Because she has some maturity. I'm not talking about age maturity. I'm just talking about maturity that some people have. You, know, you can ask them to do something and you don't just get a joke in return. Now, I'm in the camp where if somebody asks me to do something, I invariably give them some wise-ass joke in return. I do not have maturity. That's how I know all about it. Mary has a request. Oh, you know, I forgot to open up my cheater book here. I might need it a little later. Mary's suggesting I, that I play something these people at the bar know to, to draw them in. She, she's good at marketing. Meanwhile, I'm getting my uh, secret files opened. So when people walk in and I have to cheat, I'll be able to look up their names. Here it is. So we, 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 we believe in transparency around here. as time goes by. This is also, oops, this is also uh, Paul, attorney Paul's favorite song. He likes anything about time going by because he bills all for all this time, thousands of dollars. George Coons, ladies and gentlemen. Nice. He's all dressed up. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, George Kunz is here. something was up. Well, they're wearing dress blues, so they're not, it's not like, it's not like, you know, undercover. I don't know. 
must remember this. A kiss is still a kiss. First things Jocko taught me. He says, "Just, just sing the, just sing the title. No, 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 the difference. Might and love songs, never out of date. Heart full of passion, jealousy and hate. Woman needs man." Still the same old story. A fight for love and glory. A case of do or die. The world will always welcome George. As time goes by. Request. Thank you, whoever requested that song. Amy is dope. You're also our only viewer. says too. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We're here at the Hyatt and uh, the cops are having some kind of a shindig here. Ladies, you want to see some guys in fancy uniforms are looking good. And they're drinking drinks. And I think they'd like to buy you one, ladies. Cocktail party happy hour in downtown Buffalo at the Regency. We're making a sale on the snow today. shouldn't say dope too loud around all these cops. Oh yeah, that was a, we opened up with a Herman Hupfelt number.
This is the first time I think I, I can remember here at the Hyatt when we've got a plurality of men at the, at the piano. It's usually a babe fest. So Ryan, did uh, Mary tell you any more about um, Brenda's schedule? guitar players there tonight. There's, there's a hunky guitar player that determines her schedule, I think. Nothing wrong with that. Nice guy. Secure enough to say that. Well, you know, why, why rain on somebody's parade? You know, he's doing better than me in that category. But of course, I'm, I'm married though, so it's win-win for each of us. Hunky. From a little bone, he's a nice guy. Stu. Everybody knows Stu. He's, you know, he's an institution among the women. That's the way it goes, ladies and gentlemen. another day in you know where it's my buddy Ryan doesn't doesn't look at the st at the status at any of the numbers here because uh, according to this I'm not even watching I'm watching and it says nobody's watching so we're, like we're we don't we're, Nick Otto isn't even here. wondering where to take their moms on Sunday. There's going to be a great party at the Statler put on by uh, Nick over at Asteria. And I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be playing performing there for all the mommies. Four hours of mommies. It's going to be great.
Now, we're not going to be doing the uh, Lounge Academy show from the Staller. But I'm, but I'm thinking of just throwing on a phone, you know, and maybe doing some streaming. Just let my friends take a look at the the opulence that's planned for all the other the mothers in Buffalo. watching our show. I think you're right. Yeah, everyone wants to hear about artificial intelligence. I Chat GTP wrote the, the pitch for tonight's, and you know, I'm not being impressed with the results so far, even though it sounded like poetry. you always do. But you're much too strong, much too weak to fight his charms. So you'll run right back to his arms. And you're all his again. sounding piano, this Jackie Jocko piano. Just a, it's not even in tune and it sounds beautiful. What a pleasure it is to play it. Just 
just monkeying around with the gear. Renee, are you really out there? Facebook says you're near your computer. It says Renee is near her computer. Might be a uh, artificial intelligence glitch. George, I was never spellbound by a starry sky. What is there to moon glow when love has passed? Then you came on midnight, and the world was new. Here am I, so spellbound, darling, not by stars, but just by you. At last, my glove has come along. My lonely days, they're over, and my fears like a song. My heart was wrapped in clover The night I looked at you I found a dream A dream that I can speak to That I can call my own I found a thrill To press my cheek a thrill I've never, never known Oh, you smiled And then the spell was cast And here we are in heaven For you are mine at last That's from Orchestra Wives. Well, thank you, Ross. Good having you with us, sir. for Buffalo's finest tonight. Oh, Nat. Yes. Is, is the uh, tops party the same as the wedding? No, the wedding's at the foundry. 
what's going on with these guys? This is the police ball. Police ball? Yep, upstairs. Oh, really? Yep. Is it on right now? Or is it just collecting? Yep, it's there in 30 minutes, actually. Seven minutes. The policeman's ball. Tonight with Nat, a policeman's ball. That's the way to roll, right, George? It's great having my brother in law here tonight, George. I like saying that because another great pianist. He had a brother, George, that he was always introducing. Does anybody know who I'm talking about? Here's a big celebrity right there. Looking good, sir. He's trying not to be recognized. Oh, you got your little buddy. Oh, what a great dog. Give that dog back to whoever it belongs to. Is that a cute dog, Mary? Mary, you see his dog? Beautiful little thing. No, he owns the Bittersweet Lounge. You didn't tell me. No, I find. Have there been any changes? Well, when did that happen? We should have bought it. Just what we need, right? No wonder he looks so relaxed. a musician. Wonderful. Oh. I think I see the Millers coming. Welcome to the Hyatt Atrium. Welcome to the Policeman's Ball, ladies and gentlemen. It's a policeman's ball, according to the bartender. Meet the Millers, ladies and gentlemen. I think the Millers are going to be coming in at the main street door. Oh, yeah, the Millers, the Millers are here. Oh, yeah. The Millers are here at last. And it's Moen and Mike. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sit right there. We can catch up. wanted to take care of you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's good. I know what you mean. They're very attentive. Oh, I wonder there's a, and Mike, there's a policeman's ball going on. Look how nice they look. 
not address. What did you say? You told me to go fuck myself. Oh. Oh, thank goodness. That would have been okay, though. Mike Beato. I wonder where Mike Beato is. You know where I am, Mike? I'm at the policeman's ball. And we're having a ball here. I wonder how many of these guys I remember from when I used to work with them. Maybe Dennis Richards will be here. Melinda knows them all, too. You used to do the, 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 the police beat, right? Sit there and watch the blotter, police blotter. Trying to remember the terms. Did you steal anything when you were there? Pens or anything? We've got the police reporter over here, ladies and gentlemen, from the Buffalo News, retired. So you could all be completely honest with one another, forthright. Plus you had a few drinks. And so has she. Ball at the high. Mike, these these cops know how to roll. Looks like looks like looks like some some of them brought like their nieces. It's nice because when they're you don't want to leave them home alone like that. They're too young. Some, some good lounge, lounge academy um, material. Is it an earthquake? Or simply a shock? Is it the good turtle soup or merely the muck? Which is it, George? Is it the cocktail? This feeling of joy? Or is what I feel the real McCoy? Is it for all time or simply a lark? Or not, I see only as very part. Is it the fancy not worth thinking of? Is it alone? Long last love, oh yes. Oh yeah, it's a long last love. Oh, 
talking about? Maybe I should have, maybe I should have been a cop instead of a piano player. That's right. Instead of I won't play your song. Which is going to be more effective. Another thing, you know, they're in a dangerous line of work. So I think I think they live like it could be their last minute. You know? So you just go, hell yeah. I mean, I try to live that way, but you need the real thing to be able to really do it. You need guns in your life pointed at you. Janice Schlau, yeah, yeah. What are you cooking up, Janice? Are you cooking up something for Mother's Day? Richard Lambert, are you really out there, sir? From Florida, are you out there watching? Mike Piatto, hello, sir. Richard Lambert. If, if, you, if you're tuned in, Melinda Miller is throwing bouquets in your direction. a big fan. I don't know, it's you and Dave Wandy, I'm not sure which. She gets pretty excited, right? Both. Those are two of her favorites for sure. It's great when you can have that effect on the critic. A, palp a palpable effect. expert in meat. He's a butcher. They call him the butcher of Buffalo. Of North Buffalo.
maybe we could. Or we could trade instruments and see what happens. Here's that one of those songs about a friendship that turned into a romance after a few drinks. Oh, Mike Beato, oh, Mike Beato, did you ever have a friendship that turned into a romance that you care to admit? Because here's a song about it. Mike Beato, WBIG TV reporter. You're missing out here. You should be down here covering this police ball. It's good copy. Among other things. Here's a song that's kind of appropriate. This is a song for people that are incarcerated. It's called Biden My Time. Yeah, well, sure. We play to the crowd. I'm biding my time Cause that's the kind of guy I'm While this crowd dizzy I'm keeping busy Biding my time Next year Next year Something's bound to happen This year This year I'll just keep on napping I'm biding my time That's the kind of guy I'm There's no regretting when I'm setting I'm biding my time One day at a time, marking them off on the calendar You're going to tell me that started out as a friendship, Mike? I don't believe it. I think you had fraudulent intent on that one. So you called the station to meet Jackie. At least that's a story I, I remember, right? You just like decided, I think I'll take that one, so you just dialed up. That, that's how we married Jackie Walker. Yeah, he yeah, just called the station and said, um, I'll, I'll take the one on the left. Is that how it went down, Mike? 
And you just wanted to be friends, right? Yeah. In 1982, nobody was friends in 1982. There was no such thing. Because nobody bs themselves the way they do now. See, D Diane knows, man. She knows reality. It's Marino. Connie, are you out there? I see Connie's icon coming up. Oh, Connie. Are you there? Or are you square? That's our Connie. Connie, you're missing out on a policeman's ball. Diane isn't missing out on the policeman's ball. She's in the middle of the action. Have you cooked any steaks out yet? Have you barbecued any steaks yet this year? Melinda, was, was there a room in the police station that was painted blue? There was a lot of rooms painted blue there, right? Wasn't that kind of a blue? It like keeps you calm. Well, the room they put me in was blue. It was the GPS room. No, you know where they put me? They put me in the commissioner's office. I spent a lot of time in the commission, Commissioner Gibson. Yeah, it was it was kind of thrilling. And, and Dan Durenda was the deputy at the time. He was a great guy. He was such a, he was like an uncle to everybody. He was just, a, no, he was just this big teddy bear. Yeah, and he's telling dirty jokes and stuff. Maybe you just didn't get him. He told him. Yeah, he was amazing. Yeah. No, you're thinking of he he didn't come into the Hyatt. You're thinking of the you're thinking of the school superintendent James Williams, who we sadly lost, I think, in the last year. Yeah. He was a great guy too. I really liked him. Secretly, you see. Yeah, H. McCarthy. On her. He was a sweet guy. Yeah, he wanted me to ask Mary to write his, his life story. His life got pretty interesting when he when he was in Buffalo, that's for sure. He and Paladino, he and Carl, he and Carl, and uh, and, and of course the uh, 
union who just retired. Phil, play a rumor. Is he still in? He's, he announced he was going to retire. That's amazing. It's the end of a. It's an end of something. That's beautiful. Genius. He took care of it for you? This was recently? Oh my goodness. We're hearing it first, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, that's great. What a memory you'll have. Here's a song for Vincent Michaels and Jane. Actually, it's for Jane. But it's from Vince, because Vince, Vince is somebody who loves Jane. We all know that. It's all about Jane. When he looks at Jane, his eyes just glaze over the same way as when he's looking at all the all the big knobs on a modular synthesizer and he thinks of all the connections he can make and he wishes he had more than two hands that's why this song is for Jane Vince wrote that for me I think he used GPT chat to do it NFT, chat NFT, is that a thing? It would be easier to remember, I can never remember. I'm not even intelligent enough to remember those initials of artificial intelligence. those on the modern synthesizers and they don't sound the same. Somebody loves me. I wonder who. I wonder who he can be. Somebody loves me. I wish I knew who he can be, worries me, for every boy that passes me, a shout out, maybe, you were meant to be my loving baby, somebody loves me, I wonder who Vince. Oh, every 
girl that passes me, I shout out maybe. You were meant to be my loving baby. Somebody loves me. I wonder whom. What a great request for Gershwin from Vince Michaels for his beautiful wife, Jane. They've been married a long time. They have a successful marriage. Which is not surprising, because they blackmail each other. Mutually assured destruction. Right, Vince and Jane? That's what makes true love. Knowing where the bodies are buried. Diane knows, because she's, she's Italian. Do you know Vince Michaels, musician? Well, you'd love Vince. You guys will love each other when you meet. became overcome with emotion, and they'll be right back with us in a few minutes.
little cottage will find us Say, if lots of care is far behind us The day you're mine, the world will be in two Let's make that day come soon It's almost a hundred years for crying out loud. price of stakes hold up to the uh, general uh, inflation? A little higher than inflation? I'd say about 10. 10%. I've been eating a lot of hot dogs, but I like hot dogs. They went up too. You can't get more pleasure and food value than from a good, good hot dog, like a company like Salem's. Oh, those, those are those are a deal too, aren't they, George? Yeah. I mean, you can walk into Wegmans or Tops. You spend a hundred bucks and you got nothing to eat or you're still hungry. Or you can go in and spend five bucks on one of those beautiful rotis. They're like works of art spinning on the thing, appealing to every one of your senses simultaneously, pulling you in every direction at once. At least that's how it is for me. And you wouldn't want to wind up like one of them, that's for sure. Yeah, you don't want that. Yeah, you don't want one of those. You don't want to be on a rotisserie. Vodka Veritas. What is that? What does that mean? Vodka Veritas. For real? Um, vod vodka. Mary, what does vodka veritas mean? In vodka truth. <laughs> oh, well, I, I well, thank you, thank you, Vince. Bernie's Bernie's sending me some YouTube videos to watch in case I'm getting, in case I get bored here at work. I go, I get tuned into. Thank you, Bernie. See, he knows. He's a he is the pro of pros. I mean, we got Vince, Vince Michaels, and Bernie. Do you guys know each other? These are two two genius keyboardists. I'm not I'm not making that up. <laughs> Say hello to each other out there, Bernie. Less, less pressure is Vince Michaels, Bernie, in case I'm confusing you. Less is Vince.
Summer no smiles, the summer smiles. Look at the summer smile. The summer knows the unashamed. She sheds her clothes. The summer smooth. sand on which Dan lies. The summer knows, the summer's wise. She sees the doubt that's in your eyes, and so she takes her summer time. To linger, to twist the world round her summer finger. Let you see the wonder of it all. song from the summer of 42. Now that was back when you could fall in love with your teacher and she could fall in love back and they'd write a beautiful show about it. Yeah, it's no big deal. Jennifer O'Neill. And to Sir With Love. What other, what other, what other great old shows were there about romances between students and teachers? And it was, and that was not the point of the story. It was just a romance story. There was no like disciplinary hearings. Phil Rumor did not get involved. Those were the days, the days of wine and roses. Think we'll, think we'll return to those simpler times? <laughs> Things, they swing like a pendulum. Speaking of swinging like a pendulum. seem to like take us where you're expecting the times to take us so you never know what's next could be like the summer is 69 again the summer of free love now nothing's free they, they tax everything well they all turned out. shirt. 
Mari McNeil says she likes it too. Right, Mari? Dan's shirt. is doing. What's the next line? And you'll look at me. But as things stand, this time the dream's on me. That's a great song. Where'd you pull that one out from? I heard it a couple weeks ago. I forgot about it too. Thank you, Mary. Did you say I've got a lot to learn? Well, don't you think I'm trying not to learn? Since this is the perfect spot to learn. Oh, teach me tonight. Starting with the ABC of AI right down to the XYZs of it help me solve the mysteries of it oh teach me tonight the sky is a black boy high above you a shooting star goes by I'll use that star to write I love you a thousand times across the sky one thing very clear my love should the teacher stand so near my love graduation's almost here my love Oh, teach me tonight. Rich sellers, nice to see you, sir.
nations almost hear my word. So teach me tonight. Teach me tonight. At lounge academy. We're going to look at art. Art who? We're going to look at art. No, Mike's going out to look at art. Thank you, Vincent and Jane, very much. Let's see if we can find that one for you. grown accustomed to her apes. It's about somebody who falls in love with a uh, zoologist. At the Buffalo Zoo. And just goes bananas. I've grown accustomed Almost makes the day begin. I've grown accustomed to the two. She whistles night and noon. The smiles, the frowns, even her ups and downs. They're second nature to me now.
house yeah. I've grown accustomed to her face She almost makes the day begin I've gotten used to it Good morning every day Her joys, her woes Even her highs and lows They're second nature to me now Like breathing out and breathing in I'm very grateful she's a woman And so easy to forget Rather like a habit one can Always break and yet I've grown accustomed to her of something in the air. I'm accustomed to her face. Thank you, Vince and Jane. What a song. Boy, what words. They tear you apart, don't they? I wonder what else is in this book. Oh, 
with spring. That was for Nick and Kathy and Liz. as ever. He's doing great. Did I hear you a good one? Yeah, you did. <laughs> Thank you. Who knows everybody in the place? They're going to arrest you. There's a policeman's ball going on upstairs. Fish got to swim. This is a song called Beautiful Bucks. Love is funny or it's sad or it's quiet or it's mad. It's a good thing. It's a heartache either way, but beautiful. And I'm thinking, if you were mine, I'd never let you go. That would be much beautiful, I know. That one. That was for the Moses is. We're playing some unusual songs because Vince Michaels and Jane requested a song that's in this book that I I don't often peruse, mainly because it's in small type. Button up your overcoat. When the wind is free, take good care of yourself. You belong to Kathy. Oh, eat an apple every day. Go to bed at three. That's pretty late to go to bed. Take good care of yourself. You belong to me. Cut out sweets, get a pain. The, the modern, you know, health nut sensibilities, like, like. Run 50 miles every day. 
don't eat anything. Take good care of yourself. You belong to the world. What else? Run up a hundred flights of stairs each day. Take a million pills. Take good care of yourself. You belong to Phil. Cross the street. Ooh. Oh, eat lots of meat. Cut out the sweets. Ooh. Keep your food from from the hooch. change every day it's okay what the hey you belong to your health provider wear a mask wherever you go This song could be updated. It just needs to be a little updated, that's all. Oh, get a shot. <laughs> See, these songs are timeless. You just have to tune them up once in a while. Right, Diane? Diane's keeping, she's staying out of this. It's Betty. It's beautiful blonde Betty. Diane says hello back. She said hello to you first. Ooh, yeah. Diane, Betty, pack up all your cares and woe. Here I go, singing low. Bye bye, Blackbird. We've never done this song, have we? Where somebody waits for me, sugar sweet, so is she. Oh, bye bye, bye bye, Blackbird. stories they all hand me make my bed and light the lights I'll be arriving late tonight Blackbird bye bye Blackbird bye bye That's a real chestnut. We've never done that one. It's a nice song. It's a good song. Thank you. Maybe we should keep that one in the act. We'll mark it. There's some gems in here. Vince, Vincent. Jane got me on this. I think they're turning me into the to the um, alphabet soups of the world. Here's another one we've never done. I've always liked this song. My heart is sad and lonely. For you I sigh. For you, dear only. Why haven't you seen it? I'm all for you, body and soul. I spend my days in longing. For you I sigh. It's me. I'm 
happiness I'm all for you body and soul change key I can't believe it it's hard to conceive it you turn away time classic song that is, right? 1930. Trudy Salmon says, hi everybody. It's great to see you, Trudy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you sound wonderful too. Thank you. And Mary's dress. I know what you mean. are free. The stars belong to everyone. They gleam. They're for you and me. The flowers in the spring. The robins that sing. The sunbeams that shine. They're yours. Take it all. That's for all the Buffalonians. We love free things. The best things in life are free. We love sales and things that are free. out of season songs because they're on sale. They're out of season. I see your lips The summer kisses The sunburned hands That I used to hold Since you went away Days grow long, and soon I'll hear old winter song. But I miss you most 
first of all, my darling. kiss of springtime that makes so only winter seem long you are the breathless hush of evening trembles on the brink of a lovely song you are the angel's glow that lights the star The dearest things I know Are what you are Jerome Kern and Oscar Hammerstein. Wiz? Lifestyle Wiz. Lifestyle Wiz. Oh, yeah. That's how we can find out if they can hear us at the bar. They can. It's Lifestyle Wiz, yeah, yeah. On your favorite YouTube. Lifestyle is. Have you watched any of her channels, Mary? Yes. It's unbelievable. She's really she looks oh, oh, I told her I'd I might take an unprecedented break since nobody's. Yeah, nobody's sitting at the piano. I'm see if anybody notices. I'm going to take an unprecedented break. <laughs> Might as well.
lifestyle is. I love your your, your channels. Yeah. We're gonna now we're gonna break for some bagpipes. Yeah. We got some bagpipes. We got uh, a great group here tonight. We got the policemen's ball is going on upstairs. They're all, they're all decked out. They look great. Their dates look great. Everyone's all they're dressed to the nines. Yeah. Dressed to the nines. They look like lounge cadets. They're so good looking. songs we could find in here that we never do. I know my north from my south But I pass the test Cause it's all about Cindy West That was for Cindy West Watching Lounge Academy, we're streaming live from the Hyatt Regency Buffalo. We do this every Friday. Here comes Amy. Ooh, Amy's in the house. Always in love with Amy. Tonawanda committee leaders are here. Nice to see you. Make yourselves at home. Help yourself to anything. You, you know where everything is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go 
those were the official bagpipes in the background. The bagpipes of Lounge Academy. A great novel made into a feature movie. The bagpipes of Lounge Academy. It's like the grapes of wrath. for you. things happening tonight, the parades, the bagpipe parades going by and everything. I think I made the right decision not to drop acid before I came down here tonight. It might have been, it might have been a little tough to handle, but straight it's just right. I don't know, I don't know if I'd say usually. It's not like on my checklist. Oh, did I remember to drop acid? job guys well you know all of us in show business we all recognize each other yeah they got a great act Tube of 
rifles. Les, I gotta confess that you, you would not want me to hear me play that song for some reason. So now I have a phobia of it. It's just really so bad. And I and I really dig it. But so Oh thank you. Wow, the group's really come alive. It's so it's those bag bikes got everybody really on fire. We're doing all songs we've never done. I love you. For financial reasons. I hope that you believe me. I'll give you my Sentimental reasons. I hope that you believe me. I've given you my heart. Software, you know. Yeah. All you gotta do is play the software. Well, yeah, but I, the composer of that song, not the composer. The composer? This was um, music by William Best and words by Deke Watson. I never oh, heard yeah. Of yeah, I wonder if they were like. I wonder if they had like multiple names. Because you can't just like all of a sudden write write great songs and never be heard of again. one for you for me forevermore Mary knows it. it's bound to be forevermore it's plain to see we found by finding each other the love we waited for I'm yours you're mine you're in my hearts
clever song. No, those Gershwins could just knock out those hits. <laughs> this is me, Joan Bloom. Joan Bloom's the only one in the world funnier than me, in my mind. In my mind, I'm the second funniest person. I laugh at all my jokes. You laugh at your own jokes? Yeah. Well, you're funny. So you, you should appreciate your humor. some really uh, lost songs here. I'm skipping over them. Well, here's one we... We don't normally do this one because it just... We usually don't have this book to remind us of fine romance with no kisses. Fine romance, my friend. This is, it should be like a couple of hot tomatoes. You'd be cold as yesterday's tomatoes. Um, it had to be you. Oh, it had to be. Is that a great song? That's my brother. My brother of Long Island. That's their song. That sounds like a song that Vince may have performed in his large sets, in his Sinatra sets. I'd love to hear him do it. That's a good song for all the cops that are here tonight, Vince. They could sing it. It had to be you. Yeah. No, it wasn't me. I got an alibi. Never stop playing. Bill Jenkins is in the house. Wonderful to have you here, Bill. Representing the state of Grand Island. us into the key of G for Vince. It's in, it's in B. Thank you. 
it had to be you. It had to be you. I wandered around, finally found somebody who I've seen. We're gonna see some others on Monday. You might never be me. You might never be cross. Try to be boss, but they wouldn't do. But nobody else gave me that thrill. With all your faults, I love you still. Had to be you. Wonderful you, it had to be you. What a great request. Thank you, Lynn. What a, such a great audience. No, they're, they're just chatting with me on Facebook. Oh, you would so cool. Yeah, very cool. It really is. That's by uh, Gus Khan and Isham Jones. Did you know that, Vince? Did you know that, who wrote that song? wonder here and there and yonder wasting precious time for no reason or rhyme isn't it a pity isn't it a crime my journey's ended everything is splendid Meeting you today has given me a wonderful idea. Here I stay. It's a funny thing. I look at you, I get a thrill. I've never knew Isn't it a pity We never met Before Here we are at last It's like a dream The two of us Perfect Isn't it a pity we never met before? Imagine all the lonely years we've wasted. China, happiest of men, you're sure to be, if only you will say to me, isn't it a pity?
you, Amy. Isn't that a fun song? That's an old Gershwin song. Yes. It's nice to see all the Davenports are being used tonight. Thanks to Doug Jamal, he told me he put them there for us. I'm trying to skip like the every the ones we, you know, I, I've got you under my skin. You know, we we're doing unpredictable songs tonight. Not that our normal set is. How glad the many millions of Annabelles and Lillians would be. To capture me. You know what this is? Well, the, the verses can trick you. You'll know the song, though. But you've had such persistence, you broke down my resistance. I fell, and it was swell. You're my big and brave and handsome Romeo. How I won you, I shall never, never know. It's not like you're attractive, but oh, my heart grew active when you came into view. You know this, Diane? I've got a crush on you. Sweetie pie. I could fall with so much emotion. Could you care for a cunning cottage? Strike up the band. Thank you. Thank you, Glenn. Everybody looks so comfortable in their in their Davenports. This is just a great place to hang. Did we do it? Had to be. Yeah, we did it. Vince, here's a classic that we never do. I think Jocko used to do this one. This is a song that's very poignant nowadays. Goes out to my friend Michael. He's a lounge cadet. Mike's been down here in person, and it's been great. Thanks for saying hi, Mike. Mary Mike Caputo says hello. Mary says hi. Here's one that Mike can sing when he's at work. I'm going to laugh you right out of my life laugh and forget this affair yes I was foolish to care so I'm gonna dance you right out of my dreams 
pets and carefree and gay. I guess I'll learn to play the part. And when our friends begin the heartless rumors, I know I'll really need my sense of humor. Laugh you right out of my life. Make it a beautiful joke. No one will know you broke my heart. And if I find you and I really meant that last goodbye, then I'm gonna laugh so hard. Hey, Mike, did you see what I did? I got involved today, which I never do. But once in a while, when I see a plane crashing and spinning out of control, like Elon's day today, and I happen to be, I just happen to be the guy who sees the one knob on that giant 747 cockpit, cockpit panel. I always look for the one, I don't look for complex answers to complex systems because I'm not capable of that. I think of can I trip over the one one button you could press that puts everything right? And I'm lazy too. I'm a one button guy. And it, and I saw that one button today. And that one button is Here's what he should do, Mike. You could you could give him this idea. He should have his new, his new CEO come out today, tweet, and say, you know, I really want this to be. I'm here because I want to. I want to roll with that vision. So, my first act on my first day, my first hour when I start in six weeks, I'm going to personally invite Alex onto the platform because everyone will know I'm serious that we want we want your vision to live we want it to be completely open and you know what everyone will freak and everyone will love it simultaneously because there's something in it for everybody and there's something for everybody to hate that's true compromise and it'll but the bottom line is it'll get him off the hook. They'll think he planned the whole thing. And, and they'll think, hey, this is an amazing offering she's making. Let's give her a chance. We all live to fight another day, no matter who you are. That's the one knob you turn. Thanks, Mike. called debacle management. Ask me how I know. Is Marina in the house too, Michael? I'd like to say hi to her. We really miss you guys. I'm sure you're loving Florida. Everybody I know that went down there loves it. But they miss Buffalo. Everybody misses Buffalo. I know you do. Because there's no place like home.
There's no place like home. There's no place like home. I'm hoping he moves back and gets his radio job back. The sleepless nights, the daily fights, the quick toboggan when you reach new heights. I miss the kisses and I miss the bites. I wish I were in love again. The broken dates, the endless waits, the lovely loving and the hateful hates, the conversations with the flying plates. I wish I were in love again. No more pain, no more strain. Now I'm saying I'd rather be Gaga, the pulled out fur, the cat and cur, the fine miss mating of the him and her. I lived my lessons, but I wish I were in love again. That's a Rogers and Hart tune from 1937. That's from Babes in Arms. We can't, they're such great from that period. No, we, we can't, we can't, we gotta keep them alive just by not letting them skip a generation. That's what we do here, Mike. We're preservationists. We're song preservationists. balls of time. Too many hearts were broken writing these songs, right? Anne knows. She relates to these songs. There's a song that Buffalo is going to sing to Mike. Mike and Marina. It's from the Umbrellas of Shorebor. Shorebor. Mike, know, Mike would know how to pronounce that. He's very wor worldly. And he knows all the different neighborhoods of Buffalo, too. It says, I will wait for you. And likes this song. If it takes forever, I will wait for you. For a thousand summers. I will wait for you Till we're back beside me Till I'm holding you Till I hear you sigh Here in my arms Anywhere you wander That forevermore I will wait for you. The clock is ticking with the hours one by one, and the time will come when all the waiting's done. The time when you return and find me here and run straight to my waiting hours. If it takes forever, I will wait for you for a thousand summers. I will wait for you till we're here beside me, till I'm touching you forevermore. the way they wrote songs in 19... It's 1964. Thank you, Glenn. That's pretty contemporary. Michelle LeGrand. Yeah, no wonder. 
Hi, Beck, Marina. We miss you. We miss you. We miss watching you eat raw fish with us. With little sticks. It makes us feel like the big fish when we're eating the little fish. That's almost 100 years. Irving Caesar and Vincent Yeomans. Great stuff. doesn't come off as dated anymore because people don't remember it in the first place. So they just think it's kind of new and novel. And you know, the stuff is so well written that once people hear these things a few times, they gotta love them. It's amazing. I don't know if it's cloudy or bright Cause I only have eyes for you, dear The moon may be high Can't see a thing for the sky
will do, Mike. We'll do Vincent Michaels. Vincent Michaels, say hello to Mike Raymond. Two good old friends. Two of the most interesting people in the world. There they are, juxtaposed to each other on my chair. Both of you using assumed names. That's how interesting you are. I've never been that interesting. To, if I was going to use an assumed name, I already made one up. If I had an alter ego lounge, old-fashioned lounge piano guy, Babu Bay. Yeah, Babu Bay. My name's Bob. Oh, Babu Bay, Babu Bay. Because I'm here to play for you today. after eight o'clock. Where did the night go? It's unbelievable. Thank you. When lifestyle's Liz is here, the night flies by. I think you, I think you should try, try shooting some scenes here. You know? They might fit in somewhere. thing. She's lifestyle Liz. Liz knows the score. And she's got a favorite store. Oh yeah. When that blue light shines. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Liz is the first one in line. Lifestyle is. She's got a she's got a, a jingle for her show now. <laughs> Nick will remember the words for you. <laughs> They'll be better by the time they come out again. we like to call it. It doesn't even get dark when it's 8 o'clock now. We'll have to ask Doug Jamal to do something about that. See if you can make it get dark a little earlier. He'll figure out a way. Yeah, who got guys to put sunglasses on the hotel? Get out! Did you really, Michael? Oh, what a small world. We knew that, though. That's great. You've got a connection to this great place. I worked, I worked at E.B. Green's, too. I filled in for Jackie Jocko when he was sick. That was in 2013 and 2014. So that was probably uh, long after your, your stint, unless you were here undercover. What have you not done? You probably, you probably got some stories of things that happened to you in this place, 84 and 86. That was before Russia, right? Russia, Russia, Russia. Oh yeah, thanks for remembering that. That was a, that was a big deal for me. It was scary filling you for Jago because I mean I just wasn't you know ready I'd been preparing for several years with him and then all of a sudden he's sick and, and the, the, one of the women the manager got on the phone to me and she goes come on Jago
God wants you to fill in. Come on over. I said, I'm not ready. Oh, come on. It'll be fine. Just get over here. And I would have hated myself if I didn't do it. Because it's like what you've been training for. Yeah. So I did it, and it was horrible. But but they kept me for like a month and a half. So I guess it was it wasn't too offensive. No, it wasn't. And it was... Oh, it, was, it was so terrifying. I mean, I was really, I was more scared than when I was, when I had the solo in a helicopter. Wow. Yeah, which, yeah, it was a lot scarier than that. Because no one would have been watching if I crashed the helicopter. Except the guy who owned it. But I had all my friends come down so that there wouldn't be any room for like real people in the bar. <laughs> I had it all full of shills. Michael, Michael's uh, co-worker, Steve Cishan, was, was among my friends that was showed up to uh, displace some customers for me. Mike's had some thrilling stories. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you didn't have just like a normal two years here at the Hyatt. Like some some like in, international entry, no no doubt, dangerous. Like you wound up at the bottom of Lake Erie or something. And then somehow rescued by Russians. No, really, anything you make up pales in comparison to things this guy's actually lived through. No exaggeration. And he's not done. He's, he hasn't even started. He ask me. That's what my gut tells me. Policeman's ball is letting, starting to break up upstairs, Michael, and the, uh, they're, they're in their nice dress uniforms, hitting the bar. That's what I love about these parties. You get to see, you get to see co cops in uniform drinking. That's why the place is crawling with hired security tonight, so that they can take a drink. And if something happens, they don't have to collar a guy while they've had a drink, right? With their uniform on. Because why would why would they need security? You know, that explains it. Because like they say in the airline industry, eight hours from bottle to throttle. See, I knew it. I knew it, Michael. Jump into action, and they'll, they'll wind up sued or something. You know. I'm speculating about that. Right, we don't know. Yeah, that's my theory. Or they're here to arrest me. Great. Yeah, Paul Snyder is a, is an awesome guy. My dad was his CPA, was his tax CPA, years and years ago, in the like in the 1980s. He had a lot of respect for him. Great entrepreneur. He 
made all this happen. my artistry. Yeah, no, your artistry is right up there. Well, th thank you, everybody. You know, what a great thank night. I can't believe how quickly tonight, it seems like 11 hours, I sat down like five minutes ago, and 11 hours just went by. No, he does not. No, I'm talking to Michael Caputo. I'm not sure what you asked me. It doesn't matter. Just regard everything. It's like three's company or something. There's two, two threads going on. Um, no, he does not. Um, he went through foreclosure during COVID, and uh, the place the place closed down for about six months. It was dark, and uh, Doug Doug Jamal Douglas Development, uh, same same man who bought these the Statler. And, and the uh, M&T Tower and uh, many other things. He, uh, he wound up with it, which is, which is great. Actually, he holds, last I heard is he, he holds the note on it. So I guess that's... And, um, and that's, how I, that's how I got here. I, was, I always wanted to be back here at the Hyatt because um, of Jackie Jocko and my time here and all the time I spent you know watching Jocko here with all my friends and everybody and I really wanted to be back here badly and it just worked out and um, I was at the Statler for 11 years and some of the people contacted him after it closed and said hey why don't you keep that lounge academy rolling at the Hyatt so they they asked uh, me to come here, and, uh, and I'm here, and it's great. And then the first day we started, we opened up the long, this piano, and Jocko was long lost. At least to me, it was long lost, because I'd been looking for it. It was, it was weird. They unlock it and open it up, and it's, it's Jocko's piano. It's got all his notes on it, taped to it, scotch tape, which I've been maintaining with, with scotch tape of that vintage. And uh, yeah, he just bought the Rycroft. Right. Yeah, I, we, I like him too. He's really nice to me. I, he's great. And uh, they just put me back at the Statler for events. In fact, I'm playing there Sunday for the um, Mother's Day. It's not going to be Lounge Academy. Well, I might do live streaming from a phone just so I can talk to my friends. Thank so, you, Howard. Thank you, Ann. I'm so glad you came down. It was great seeing you. Thank you, Glenn. Have a great night. Okay, we'll see everybody next week in exactly seven days minus about three hours. And we'll, uh, we'll do it again. Next week I'm going to have uh, AI write another marketing piece like I did this week. And uh, we'll, see, we'll see it on social media. Oh, you saw the notes on the piano. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was really uh, something. I mean, that'll be wonderful, Michael. We'll love that. There they go, back to North Tonawanda, to God's country. Good night, everybody. We're gonna fade to black and uh, to let this roll, so we don't cut off the uh, the end. And we'll we'll see you next week. Great catching up, Mike. Oh, we're going on the channel. Wait a second. This morning I woke up. Shh.
shopping from a limousine. It was the biggest sale I've ever seen. for life. We just did a piece. You see that, Mike? That's going to be on Lifestyle Liz. She's a huge YouTube influencer. Actually, she's on like everything. She could get one view and she's an influencer. That's how powerful she is. Thank <laughs> you. 